فاف فروم فرانس السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله شيخ uh, عندي uh, I have two questions yeah uh, so the first one is like um, about زكات so I'm freelancer and when um, when I work it's like I um, I do the bill to my client and he will pay me it's like few months after we will say But when I um, when I calculate the amount for the zakat, should I uh, take this into consideration even before getting paid, knowing that I'm sure that I will be paid? Lovely It's question. Sure. Lovely question. One thing at a time. Yes. When you work for me, you're a graphic designer, and you build me $17,000. I agree to pay you. But I said, Afaf, here is $3,000 now. And you can collect the balance in three weeks, in three months. So I acknowledged that I owe you $17,000. Money is yours, or isn't it? It is yours, correct? Yes. I am a reliable company or individual. I normally pay. So there is a transparency. As long as the money is yours, And you're capable to collect it, but you will collect it later. It will be treated similar to the loan or the debt, which you know that for certain you will collect it back. Which means, if the due date of the payment of zakat happened to be before collecting the money, you still pay zakat on it. Why? Because you actually possess it. It's just a matter of time when you will collect it, but it belongs to you. And that's why when you want to buy a car, when you want to buy a house, and you say, I'm going to receive $17,000, the, the figure that I just gave earlier, in a couple weeks. You count on that. Why? Because you know that the money is yours. You've worked for it, and it's a matter of time. They give you a date, or they give you a dated check. Once, you, once the date is due, you can collect the check. So the money is yours, or isn't it? It is. Then it is zakatable as well. Got it, Afaf? Yes, it's very clear. Thank you. You're most welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.